Wahoo. Uh, it's enough. Yeah. Okay. You're you are so please. weird. Site number 67, I believe. It's pretty nice. We only have a neighbor on the one side. And then the bayou is back there. Yeah. Yeah. Brian and Tarquin just went to the store and I thought it would be a good time to um, just have some kind of real talk, I guess. This wasn't feeling great for a few days and now, and then Brian wasn't feeling great and now Tarquin's not feeling great and, you know, it could be worse, but sometimes when you don't feel good, it just affects your mental status, you know, like everything seems worse when it's yucky outside. And then on top of that, like, you're not feeling well because you're sick and so physically you're not feeling well and then mentally you're not feeling well uh, so it's been kind of tough and then, um, I'm gonna take a shower here in the rig we don't do that very often actually there's nothing wrong with our shower um, at all our shower is actually really awesome but when we don't have full hookups it's really hard um, because it fills up our gray water tank really fast. So we typically will use the shower house unless we have full hookups, but even when we have full hookups, it's a little challenging because we have the ferrets. And so let me show you the bathroom and then I am going to take a shower. All right, bathroom tour. These are, um, a couple of my plants. I really love plants if you didn't know that about me. Um, this is one that just made it and then this is one I just actually got some cuttings from the mother plant when I was in Indiana at Christmas and it was already rooting so I just stuck it in here. I've had really great luck with golden pothos of course. They're pretty straightforward and um, so this is the shower area. We don't keep much in here because we don't use this shower, generally speaking. Um, this is where the ferret cage goes, but I do utilize the little corner pockets for the light. Um, and it is a nice little shower. It puts off good water pressure and um, it also gets pretty hot. So we just have our robes hanging right over here. It's nice because we can we always know where they're at and then we hang towels there too to dry um and this is where the ferrets are right now but they're this is just their travel cage so normally they would be in a cage like four times the size so we make sure that they get plenty of time out of the cage but they really like to be asleep 
So they sleep at least 18, if not more hours a day, and they really adapt to your schedule. So pretty much we get them out um, when they wake up in the evening, and then we get them out when they wake up in the morning, and they run around like crazy until um, they are tired, and then we put them back to bed. Ready to go. So while you guys went to the store, I since I was gonna cook and shower, I decided to share that because we haven't really shared too much of the inside of the rig and oh, cool. the bathroom. Okay. I know I was always very curious how the bathroom worked and what the shower was like. <laughs> did you show like that. the half of a shower curtain? I did not show the half a shower curtain. Um, the ferrets destroyed it, so I got pissed one day and just cut it in half. <laughs> now I have to show them. Um, just a typical morning at the dump house. Oh, the animals. He's over here hiding. Is it just today? Today's Sunday. Today is Sunday, yes. So we leave tomorrow. Absolutely. Yes, we leave tomorrow morning. So today's our only day to do anything. Yep. Oh, well, hello. I guess we've got to get our booties in gear. Thanks. Actually, needed that. Welcome. Love. 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 I want to watch our planet again. I want to watch. I'll watch that. Take a nap on the floor. God, that flamingo is so sad. I'm oh. half a prime. I was so sad. And then we were like farther into the episode and I looked out and everyone was happy and I was like, and then I was like, oh, that's a flamingo baby. I'm sure they helped it. And everyone was sad. I hope so. And then by the end of the episode, Wahoo. Wahoo. Just, nobody cares Wahoo. about the flamingo. We just moved on from that real fast. Do you think they're allowed to interfere? Yeah. With like that in that situation there? Um, I hope so. Poor baby. You just didn't have any arms. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, good for you. garbage in front of her and she took it. I don't know. Can you maybe Ma feed again? <laughs> very exciting we've been waiting for a while to do this one yeah we have or to just to put another sticker on Mississippi woo -woo. one more tonight it's hysterical that we didn't get Tennessee I, right <laughs> mm. 
Bring it in the side. There's the water and the sewer and the electric. Sounds great. Still got our tent tag. <laughs> Big old gator. <laughs> Can you imagine making that? It's so cool. So Tarquin's currently chasing a stray cat around the parking lot. <laughs> She's been worried about it the whole time we've been here. <laughs> so it's like chilling underneath people's cars over here, which is never good, but I know, but he knows what he's doing. I'm sure he just lives close by. We're getting ready to cut what? TQ's hair. What? Before we start cutting. Yep. Tarquin, <laughs> you understand that hair cannot be glued back on. That we are not hairdressers, uh -huh. and we are going to do the best we can. We understand that no matter what we do, there will be tears, <laughs> and you will not be happy. <laughs> but we are going to try our best. I'm excited to say goodbye. <laughs> what? Because you think my hair's like no? Because I you've been my you dead damaged hair. it. It's beyond it's repair. Been... I thought it was pretty. <laughs> I thought it was pretty, Mama. It was pretty when it was damaged. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty, but I mean, it just made me feel sad. These pieces that just died. They're like <laughs> uh, this is this is really cool actually it feels like I'm walking through a prehistoric forest with these palmettos they're humongous and uh, just super super cool this is a cypress tupelo gum Swamp. All right, so the swamp is not what you traditionally think of as natural beauty. But this is really gorgeous in its own way. I'm really blessed to be out here doing this. Thank you for sharing with me. I love it. I will leave you alone now. It's cold. It's wet. It's winter. It's cold and wet everywhere, right? I get that. But there's beauty to be found no matter where you're at. Something to appreciate no matter where you're at. And uh can't see them, but I'm listening to all these birds out there having fun in the forest. The wind blowing through the trees. It's still pretty cool.
Where'd he go? Wahoo, come. flying around. It's pretty cool. A bunch of them went into that tree. It's wild. They're just all over the place. Good morning. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are because it feels amazing. We have not had a lot of nice weather, um, which has made life difficult and we're all struggling a little bit. I know you guys all get to see like the exciting fun parts of what we're doing, um, but it can be very challenging, honestly, living in such a small space when we can't get outside. And um, if one of us is having a bad day or the animals are being a little much, so we've made some decisions we have never done this so far, but we are leaving this park early. Um, it wasn't a super expensive park, but I'm still hoping to get. What do you see? Of course, I'm still hoping to get a refund, but that's how ready we are to move on. We just are like, eh. oh well. So this park is probably really cool and it's like right time of year, but this is the canoe area, I guess. And this is Eagle Pond. Their outbuildings are really cool. Like, I really love. <laughs> I do, there's a lot of things I like about this park, for sure. Um, it's just got a weird vibe right now, and I'm sure that that's winter for you. All right, what are you doing, T? <laughs> Louisiana. My baby, everyone. <laughs> Louisiana. There it is. <sighs> Beautiful. Nice. High five. Ourselves. No she friends. said, why don't we have Tennessee? <laughs> Great question, kids. Great question. So we're at our boondocking location. Henry. And it's perfect. Up, up. Henry. Whoop. Wahoo got it. We tried to. It's perfect for the dogs. And... So much yes, company. it's really nice because it's back off the road and yeah, but it's a beautiful evening and the dogs are super psyched to be able to wave fetch. Uh oh.
So why are we back in Florida again? Because we want sunshine and warmth. I thought it was because the cold is bullshit. <laughs> the cold is bullshit. <laughs> 